This simple sharpening fixture only sharpens the end of the milling cutter, but still very worthwhile as it is the cutting edge that largely determines the finish that results. Many workshop owners will frequently sharpen the end whilst never sharpening the cutter edges. The reason for this being it is a more complex task needing much more involved equipment and achieves little other than reducing the load on the machine using it. Initially, let us consider how the fixture works. First, each cutting edge must be set horizontally or vertically in the cutter holder. The round disc seen at the far end of the device projects from the side and acts as a stop for the cutter holder, with the cap head screw moving the disc forward or backwards to control the amount being ground off. The lines we see on the table are a guide for setting the device to an angle to achieve the concave nature of the end of the cutter, this being essential. First, we see the primary land being ground. Next, the secondary land is being ground, with a table set at an angle. I will play that just in case you missed the change in setting. Of course, the secondary land only needs grinding very occasionally, that when the primary land becomes too wide. We will now grind a slot drill with just two cutting edges. This is virtually the same as sharpening an annual, but with one problem. More about that later. Here we see the problem, that is, 
with one cutting edge being longer than the other, we have not sharpened it fully. If then the device was moved over to grind the one edge fully, almost certainly we would end up with the two tips at different levels. How then do we overcome the problem? The method is to set the device at a greater angle. See the replays. This enables me to grind the inner portion of the cutting edge without contacting the tip. It does, of course, leave a small kink in the edge, but the cutter will still plunge perfectly. Now to test it out. Let us now discuss how the device achieves the required angles, though in practice they are not critical. 4 to 6 degrees for the primary clearance and 22 to 28 for the secondary clearance being more than adequate. We see from the drawings that the cutter centre line is 12.5 mm above the table as the cutter holder is 25 mm square. With the table being 6 mm below the grinding wheel centre, it makes the cutter centre line 6.5 mm above the wheel centre. With a 150 mm wheel, the surface at that height is nominally 5 degrees, this being the angle aimed for. We now see how the secondary angle is achieved. 